It had been many months since Henry the Green Engine had returned from crew, and over the course of many months, all of the engines would start to notice a sudden change in some of Henry's behaviors. No one exactly questioned him about this. He did just come back from a rebuild, so maybe he was just adjusting to his new shape. But over time, they began to notice a lot more significant changes in behavior. Ones that he had previously not shown before he went to crew. None of the engines were ever really asked him about this, as they felt that they wouldn't really get that much of an answer out of him. Finally, one day, Edward decided to ask him. Oh, hello, Edward. Hello, Henry. I just wanted to talk to you as the others and I have noticed a change in your behavior since you've come back from crew. I was just wondering why this is. The big green engine didn't respond to his question. Instead, his expression changed to a face of either guilt or restraint as if he was withholding information that no one else knew. Oh, um, well, I, uh... Uh, oh, sorry, Edward, I, I have to pull a train. Uh, goodbye. And with that, the big green engine puffed out of the yard, leaving Edward in pure confusion. He was confused beyond all belief. He wanted to know why Henry seemed to get so nervous when he brought this up to him. But... Thinking that he wouldn't get any more answers out of Henry if he asked further, he simply thought it best to just leave it and not ask any more questions. About a day or two had passed, and no more questions were asked on the subject. Edward was resting in the sheds one evening when Sir Topham Hat came up to him. Edward, I need you to take a delivery of scrap to a scrapyard on your mainland. Yes, sir. And with that... Edward puffed out of the shed to collect his goods train. On his way to the scrapyard, Edward began thinking to himself about the last time he had spoken to Henry. He really wanted to know why he got so nervous over such a seemingly simple question. And he really wanted to know why Henry had been acting so strange and different ever since he had come back. Like everyone else, Edward thought that he was maybe just adjusting to his new shape, but this was months after he had come back. Surely he would have adjusted by now. Edward didn't know, although he started to think to himself whether or not he really wanted to know, as maybe the real reason behind Henry's sudden change in behavior was a little bit more dark. Ever brushed that thought off as he neared the scrapyard, though? Edward soon arrived at the scrapyard, where the foreman was waiting for him. Ah, there you are. Just leave that train on another siding. Uh, Diesel will come take it away in a momentarily. So Edward left his train on a siding and went on another siding to go fill up with water. Hello? Who are you? Edward heard a voice from next to him that he knew didn't belong to his crew. He looked over on the siding next to him to see an old engine. The engine was completely covered in rust and looked like he hadn't been used in a very long time. I'm Edward. What's your name? I'm... well... I was never really given a name. Just a number. 10638. The two started politely chatting, Edward telling the engine about his experiences and stories throughout his years, and the other engine telling him about how he had ended up there. Edward soon brought up Henry, how he was a failed Pacific Atlantic hybrid, and how he was brought to crew works for a rebuild and somehow came back as a Stanier Black 5. When Edward gave the engine a description of what Henry had looked like, the old engine got a rather confused look on his face. Mate, there was never an engine with that description sent to crew works. 
However, there was an engine of that description sent here and, well... The old rusty engine paused as if he was holding something back. Well, what? The old engine question. It was never a rebuild. Edward then heard another voice coming from his left, but this voice sounded all too familiar. Edward hesitantly looked over and stared in shock. What he saw could not have been real. There, on another siding, facing away from him, was another old engine. But unlike the one to his right, this one was rusty to the point where you could still see his original paintwork. And this engine looked to be in a bright green paint scheme. This engine had four trailing wheels at the front, six large driving wheels, and two small trailing wheels at the back. It looked to be a hybrid of an Atlantic and an A1 Pacific specifically. Edward couldn't believe what he was seeing. Then he thought to himself, maybe this was just another engine. This thought slightly relieved him. And that was until he looked over at its tender. Like the engine, the tender was rusty as well, but to the point where you could still see its original paint scheme. Not only could you see the paint work, but through all the rust, Edward could make out a large three on the engine's tender. Edward couldn't handle what he was seeing. As soon as his tender was filled up with water, he darted out of the scrapyard and didn't stop until he made it to Sodor. By the time he made it back to Sodor, though, it was already dark by that point. So Edward decided to sleep at a shed at Vickers Town for the night. I was trying to go to sleep, Edward felt a small tear trickle down his face. Edward never did tell the other engines about what he saw that night. He never wanted to as he feared that they wouldn't believe him, or if they did, that no one would ever look at Henry the same way again. He certainly didn't look at him the same way again after that night. He never told Sir Thompson Hatt about it as he thought that he would never get any sort of answers out of them. And he certainly didn't feel like approaching Henry about it as he had already had bad luck with that last time. But now Edward didn't need to ask him. Edward now knew the truth. That Henry had never been sent. Fine.